Hey kids, we are back with some more Nintendo eShop goodness. I got three games for you. We got Police Stories, Galaxy Champions TV, and Amnesia Collection. Let's go ahead. We're going to take a look at them today. See if they're worth picking up for your Nintendo Switch. So this is Galaxy Champions TV. Now this plays a lot like Smash TV actually. So it's like an homage to Smash TV. And I'm not saying Smash JT. I'm saying smash tv so it's a roguelike twin stick shooter it plays a cute little guy that has to survive waves and waves of enemies here we go here we go all right so i'm this little guy you can use the stick or you can use the face buttons so the stick actually allows you to do like a full 360 degrees range of motion the face buttons only allow you to shoot one direction and oh man I feel like I'm getting... Oh, there we go. There we go. I feel like Rambo up in this mug. Grenade launcher. Flamethrower. So here's a shop. Between rounds, you get a shop. Let's go ahead. Uh, let's upgrade. So there we go. Now we're going to go on to the next section, shall we? So you don't want to step into the landmines. There we go. I love the music too. Holy smokes. There we are. Whoa, 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 whoa. Very high energy, guys. I like it. Action impact. High energy. Lots of violence. Lots of explosions. Michael Bay would be proud of this game. Would he not? Would he not, guys? Find the lie. This is just pure chaos. They're like little ninja guys. Enemies with one eye. Alright. Flamethrower. Aw, oh, man. I died. I didn't last that long. So there we go. I made it to 1-3. I was killed by a guy with a little, little one eye. One little eyeball. So yeah, this was Galaxy Champions TV. Just to give you guys a general idea, it's also two player. It's nothing to it. It's arcade like Smash TV clone. So let's go on and move to the next game, shall we? So our next game is going to be Police Stories, which is a police video game. Um, has like a top 2D overhead view. It's actually kind of challenging. I tried to play some of it, and I, for the life of me, could not get to it. <laughs> like I couldn't figure it out. So let's see how bad I fail trying this game out again. Police stories, and it has some pretty cool, like, 8 bit graphics or 16 bit graphics. It's like real old school in its design and look. Here we go. Let's skip the front. So, we're going to do standard or easy. So, you don't have to rely on tactical equipment if you have good reaction times, but you have to use tactical equipment with standard. I guess I'm going to play standard. Let's do first call. Let's, uh, let's do that set up my guys so i got two coppers 1998 great year guys do you remember what you were doing in 98 i was watching wcw in 98 so here it's an overhead view and based on what your actions and stuff are you do different commands so you command you can command your partner to follow you uh you can also uh attack so i can move I ordered him so now we're going to secure that guy I ordered him to get down so we're arresting this dude so we arrested that civilian now we're gonna come in shootings last option so now we have to tell him get down whoa I got shot so it takes a little bit of getting used to to be completely honest like I've I've blown it so many times doing this <laughs> you know like i've been like trying to figure out what we're gonna do see it's very difficult because that stupid I, I don't know i get confused honestly because the if you push zl it gives you this this option to like do this but if you don't you can shoot and, and order people i don't know it's it's a little different I don't, it's, it's a lot harder than it looks and your cop also moves very fucking slowly. 
very slowly. Honestly, I get what they were trying to do with it. I really do. I just, it seems like... Oh, well, at least my my partner killed that dude. <laughs> you don't see ahead of you either. Like, you can see these rooms, but you don't see... See? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> this is the same problem I had. I just want to try to beat the first level. That's it. Come on. Give me that. I don't have to use the force. Whatever. I don't know. He was charging. He could have attacked me. See, I get the idea what they're doing, but to me, it just it doesn't it doesn't translate right. Let's try one more round. Civilian down. See, how am I supposed to know that's a fucking civilian? I swear to God, my police officer is the biggest pussy police officer of all time. All right. Anyways, we're gonna move to the next game. This one's a first-person horror game. It's an amnesia collection. There's actually more than one game on this one. So if you're looking for more bang for your buck, if you want to play all the amnesia games, you get the amnesia collection. It's perfect for Halloween. It's October. I should probably should have actually did a playthrough of this. Maybe I'll stream it soon. But you get the Dark Descent, Justing, and a Machine for Pigs. Um, it's kind of creepy. I have not played through it completely. But I'll play through some of the opening parts for you. Um, I started a game. Didn't get too far ahead. All right, so just like any other game, it's dark, it's mysterious. You got to find where you're at because I guess you have amnesia, and it's very dark. Um, I jump scare pretty easily, but we're going to follow this trail. I can almost barely make out where I'm going. That's how dark this freaking screen. I think it's all just hiding and stuff. And I believe this game first got its popularity because PewDiePie actually played it <laughs> in a playthrough on his channel pewdiepie not pootie pie like uh some people say his i went ahead and turned off the light because that's how dark this freaking game is like i already got twisted and turned around because the game is just abnormally dark like i get it they're trying to be scary and stuff but the game is just real hard to look at. It's really dark. And then when you turn, it kind of has like this blurry effect. Like, I don't know if it's showing up as much on the on the footage of what you guys are seeing. But it's a real strain on the eyes, to be quite honest. I feel like I'm going to make myself go blind playing this. I hear some scary stuff. Again, I jump scare very easily. What in the world? What the? What's going on with my dude? Get up, homie. All right. Just following the blood trail still. So, still haven't seen anything scary yet. I know they keep saying to uh to hide when you can in this game. It's the old archive. So I guess. All right. Could you imagine being in a scary location like this? Whoa. Reduce your sanity could be increased by completing puzzles and making progress. So this game is all about maintaining your sanity. Now here's a definition of somebody who's absolutely insane. Whoa, shoot, what's this? Filled up a beacon, a lantern. I have it on. Alright, what's the lantern do? What'd that mouth do? Alright, I think I s vividly remember PewDiePie playing this game. Oh, look. Voice acting. Just head off this way or what? Didn't really see a, a section to go to. Did I miss a door? Let's go back just in case I missed a doorway. Is there a way to run? Rainy Hall. It won't budge. Well, I went in. No. No oil left. Oh, no. 
I gotta be the first one to say, while I do like games like this, at the same time, I hate them. What? What the? Okay. How come the door won't budge? Am I lost? No tinder boxes. No mementos. Alright. So are you really going to have to see me wandering around aimlessly in this game? Trying to figure out what I'm supposed to do? Oh, here we go. Shh. Come on, game. Throw me a freaking bone here. Okay. I can't be this lost already, can I? Oh, I didn't even see the stupid lever. There we go. I missed a stupid lever this whole time. Entrance hall. Uh, would help if I had light on, right? I ran out of lantern fuel and stuff, and I don't want to waste my oil. All right. Now we're in the entrance hallway. All right, what's going on here? That sounds like Severus Snape. All right. Which way are we going to go? Let's go this way. This way looks good, right? Oh, cannot exit that way. Oh, okay. Which other way are we going to go, guys? Down? Let's go down, down, down. The laboratory. I feel like something's going to jump out and get me, guys. Alright, I picked up some oil. Let's go ahead and refill our lamp. So I'm not struggling to see what I'm looking at in this game. That'd be a great idea, right? Whoa. A roach just crawled across my face. Whoa. Uh oh. Some stuff's going on. I heard some noise. Do I get to see some action finally? Maybe a jump scare? Maybe something scary with this game? Well, my oil light just went out, so that's, that's kind of scary. Won't bud. <clears throat> All right, decent lit place. I get behind this. We're in a lit place, so I can I can get behind it. What's going on? I keep hearing like a growly noise, and it's freaking me the heck out. So is the idea just to keep picking up notes so I can remember stuff, or what? That's what it seems like I'm doing so far. Thus far. Uh-oh. I hear some stuff. What's going on? And I don't have any fuel for my lamp either. Great. Goodness gracious. I don't think I'm playing this game right. Oh no. Oh my. Alright, now I'm getting a little creeped out, guys. I'm not gonna lie. Head to the light. Why don't I just leave the house? All my problems would be solved, right? I'm sure there's somebody watching this that's like, Eric, you're not playing the game right, man. Blind playthrough right now, guys. I've never seen this game in my life. I think I've just seen PewDiePie play it, and that was about it. What about through here? Fragile but not breakable by hand. Does that mean I throw a rock at it? There we are. See, I'm not that dumb. I cannot see a damn thing in this game. <laughs> Definitely have to light as much stuff up as I can. Because it is dark. 
What's going on, y'all? I keep thinking in order to uh, open that menu. Oh, here we go. All right, one. Not too hard. Right? Am I right or am I right? Because when I'm right, I'm right. No, what? Oh, I guess it just opened this door. Oh, here, like, what door did it open? Oh, well, I guess it's the only way I can go, right? Hearing the weird sounds. Oh, great. Of course, my freaking lantern would go out. Where's the wine cellar? Entrance hall? <laughs> Alright guys, so... Oh shit, what the hell? I just got injured. What the heck's going on here? The wine cellar. Where's the wine cellar at? I would say wine cellar's downstairs, right? All right, guys, so I'm going to end it here. I don't want to bore you guys too long. This is something that definitely needs to be live streamed, not showcased in a video. But I do like what I see here. It's eerie. It's creepy. It has a good atmosphere. It's puzzle intensive. So I do think that it is definitely worth checking out, especially for the October Halloween season. I mean, I have my lights off and everything because this game is really dark and creepy in its atmosphere. So I do think it's worth taking a look at and there's two more games on here too you get all the amnesia games for the price of one but i'm gonna end it guys thanks a lot if you are brand new to the channel and this is your first time throw that subscription don't forget to like i will see you on the next one guys good day consider supporting 8-bit eric on patreon for just a dollar a month link below in the description you want to become part of the hashtag 8BE Nation, guys? Well, be sure to pick up your official merch now available online. Link is below in the description. We got classic t-shirts, tank tops, hoodies, and even women's apparel. Don't forget, pick up your official merch now. And while you're at it, guys, feel free to watch the next video or why don't you catch up on one that you might have previously missed. Thanks again, guys, for all the support. I couldn't do this without you. You guys are amazing. And don't forget to subscribe and click that like button if you are brand new. Thanks again, guys. Peace out.